Yo, what's good, YouTube? My name is Clarks, and today I'm back with some more ISA battles. This time it's week three for you guys. And before we begin this, I just want to say it might not look like it, but this is a goddamn post commentary. Um, yeah, it really, uh, really sucks. But I recorded this uh, battle like uh, it took around 40 minutes, uh, probably around 35 minutes, but with the uh, with me talking a little bit before, a little bit after the match. Uh, it took around 40 minutes uh, on my recording, but uh, as I found out afterwards, my mic wasn't recording, and it was apparently because I did ma make a mic test before I started, and I could see that like that little bar going up uh, on my OBS, uh, but it did not work still for some reason. Uh, I, I think it's because I accidentally tapped my mic uh, just before I began recording and so my uh, audio cut off there and uh, it really sucks that uh, that for some reason my mic uh, cord is so loose uh, but we're gonna uh, post commentate today this uh, video as you probably already can see as uh, that you probably checked when I said that it was 40 minutes long this video is only 20 minutes long plus minus uh, all of this but because I spit I sped it up so it's around 20 minutes um, because I didn't want uh, I didn't want you guys to uh, to sit uh, uh, around for 40 minutes uh, when I was just post commentating but this should uh, make it uh, so uh, that it goes a little bit quicker because I know there were some long turns there like in between uh, uh, like there was some there was a long time between the terms like choosing what kind of Pokemon to go out to and stuff like that but you guys um, with that being said I just want to say that we are facing the Dallas star use uh, coached by Kyle aka Lugia X check him down in the description below also be sure to check out his side of the battle when that video drops uh, if the video hasn't uh, dropped yet there will be no link down below, but when that video drops, I will link it down below. But before we get into the battle, let's just check out what Pokemon we are bringing today. So now, I just want to show you guys these. These Pokemon here, these are the Pokemon that are on our team. We have, oh, actually, we do not have Roserade. Uh, we, uh, yet. Important uh, announcement. I will also. I, I don't know. There will probably be a video before or after this uh, talking about Rosa Raid. But we actually uh, here is there's actually supposed to be uh, Golurk. Actually, Golurk. Let me just put Rosa Raid down there. But actually, uh, the team that I had at the at like uh, this match right now, I Rosa Raid is a uh, free agent uh, that I got after the match because I was really lacking uh, some water resistance and some more bulky Pokemon and uh, Roserade was a uh, really optimal uh, choice for me because I was both lacking I was lacking in water resistance and I was also lacking in special defense and I've used Roserade before and it's a monster. It can eat up super effective hits like a tank. Um, and it can still deal out a lot of damage with its hidden ability te technician. Uh, but it's a really great Pokemon and, it'll, and I will be talking more in depth about it in my uh, video uh, dedicated to this free agency. I will uh, link the video down below of course. Uh, but. With that being said, let us just go over the tweet, the uh, Pokemon that I can bring to this match. We have Sylveon, we have Asolf, Tornado's Eye, Sandslash, Caracosta, Mega Swampert, Haxorus, Galvantula, Darmanitan, and Golur. Now, as you already can see on the screen, the Galvantula and Caracosta are already on there. Now, I just want to bring this up as well. This is uh, Kyle's team. This is uh, he. He has Weavile. He has Suicune, Nido King, Aromatiz, Lilligant, Rampados, Mega Charizard X, Thunder, Tornadus, no Thunderous, 
Oh my god, <laughs> I can't speak right now. Thunderous Eye, Crobat and uh, Crobat Everlock, and Metagross. Now, um, that is a pretty powerful team, as you can see. So, uh, I chose uh, for this team. I chose to bring like more. I don't know. I I, I wanted to try some new things out. You know, I wanted to um, do something different with the team. You know, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to try out some of the Pokemon that I hadn't been able to try out in the uh, two earlier weeks. Uh, so, first we have our Arachnophobia, aka Galvantula, with the Focus Slash Swarm, Bug Buzz, Sticky Web, Thunder Wave, and Volt Switch. Which is, I guess it's a pretty common set, but I really wanted to set up some st some sticky rugs. Oh my god. Some sticky webs uh, on his team because. He had some pretty fast mons, uh, such as uh, Weewile and Crobat, and with those, st with a sticky web up, that really stops them. And a Thunder Wave, because I wanted to uh, Thunder Wave uh, big threats such as the Weewile again and the Charizard X, the Metagross. Like, let me just pull up his team again here. Uh, he might bring uh, Choice Scarf, Nido King. Of course, I cannot Thunder Wave that. But I have to look out for that, and a sticky web would really stop that choice scarf on the Needle King. But uh, uh, I also brought uh, Arachnophobia. You can see the spread is uh, 252 in special attack, uh, 4 in special defense, and 252 in speed with that timid nature, so he can uh, outspeed a lot of his mons. But. Um, uh, uh, I chose not to go with any bulk because I have the focus slash and then my watch switch would do a lot more uh, because I, I wanted to use Arachnophobia if he did bring a physically offensive Suicune I wanted uh, Arachnophobia to be the one to take that Suicune out. Next up we have Crush, the Caracosta, White Herb, Solid Rock, Shell Smash, Stone Edge, Iron Edge, Iron Head and Earthquake. Now Solid Rock I should probably not have brought with it since I was running uh, offensive set I should probably have uh, uh, gone with uh, gone with sturdy instead uh, but uh, I won't spoil anything about how the match goes but I th I personally think that I should have brought sturdy instead and I honestly was just not thinking now if we push play I should be okay. Yeah, I have also introducing the team here. Okay, now I'm just I'll just try to put yeah speed there. Domani ten. Now we have Caesar the Domani ten with a choice band, sheer force, rock slide, flare blitz, earthquake, and U-turn. Now this is a pretty common set, but again, uh, it's really uh, Domani ten can really it can't really do much. It doesn't really have a lot of uh, its move set isn't that diverse, so. Uh, this is really the only thing that uh, you can run with. There are also some other stuff, uh, but uh, for this scenario, I just really wanted to hit hard. Uh, uh, so that was honestly the best uh, uh, move set for it. And it has that 252 in attack, uh, 4 in special defense, and 252 on speed with uh, timid nature, because with the choice band, sheer force boost. I really didn't th uh, think that uh, I, I would rather prioritize some more speed, you know. Also, Crush has uh, 16 HP, uh, uh, 16 EVs in HP, 252 in attack, and 240 uh, in speed with a uh, jolly nature. Oh no, and I'm sorry, Damantan has also a jolly nature, not a timid, of course. Um, but I had that spread because that uh, was the optimal spread to outspeed his. Uh, I think it was uh, an uh, his Weavile, if uh, if it if it was adamant and not timid. So um, uh, after Shell Smash, of course. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's see. Next Pokemon on the team here we have. Come on, come on, go a little. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, apparently I can't see the rest of my team. Wow, fail, fail already there. Um, I guess I could just go into uh, Showdown's team builder. 
uh, and I can show you the team there, you know? This is Kyle here. So I just want to check on that you can see everything. I can see that you can see everything. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that you guys can see every all this. But yeah, uh, I'll just do something like that so I can make sure that you guys can see everything. So next up we have Gera here, the Sand Slash Leftovers, Sand Slash with Leftovers, Sand Rush, Rapid Spin, Knock Off, Earthquake, and Stealth Rocks, uh, running that 252 in attack. No, 252 in defense, 252 in uh, HP, and 4 in special defense. Now, I can see that I forgot to put a nature on it, which uh, is pretty stupid of me. Wow, that is really, really dumb. I forgot to put a nature on Gar. Uh I would probably have ran uh, a defensive nature, so I guess that's bold. Or is that the one that minus this attack? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's the one that minus this attack. So I probably wouldn't run, ran that. I would have ran the opposite of it, meaning that it would be plus defense and minus in special attack. But uh, that was just not the case. So next up we have Electra here, the Luxray Flame or Gops. Goth. Oh my god. Guts. Uh, uh, Wild Charge, Facade, Ice Fang, and Fire Fang. With that 252 in the tech, 252 in speed, and 4 in the special defense. Now, uh, I have uh, timid nature on this girl as well, because I honestly, uh, with uh, f the God's boosted flame orb, uh, I honestly thought that uh, I would rather prioritize speed here again. Now, last but not least, we have Vision the Ass Elf with the Focus Slash Levitate, Thunder Wave, Stealth Rock, and Taunt, and U Turn. Uh, with uh, that 248 in HP, 8 in attack, and 252 in the. Uh, no. 248 in the HP, and 252 in the speed, and then 8 in the attack. With a timid nature. Now, Vision here was supposed to be a fast supporter who can go in, take a hit with the Focus Slash, then Thunder Wave, Stealth Walk Taunt. Or whatever it's uh, it needs to do, you know, because uh, with the Thunder Wave again, I really wanted to stop his fast mons, and uh, that was why I ran Thunder Wave on both uh, Vision and Galvantula. I have the Stealth Rock because uh, if Garrett goes down, which is pretty likely, it cannot take any uh, special attacks, so it can easily go down. Uh, so. Uh, it's always good having a second stealth rocker. Taunt, of course, to stop any of his uh, stealth rockers or defoggers or any any setup mons that he might have. And U-turn because uh, after doing this, uh, Vision can't really do much. So he just U-turns out to a mon that can uh, do some damage on his team. Now, guys, I think the battle may start. Um, so let's see. I'm quite pretty sure that I switch. Just about here. Yep, I accept the battle. Choose the team versus Kyle. And here we see his team. Now we he has the Mega Charizard X, the Crobat, the Nido King, uh Suicune, Weavile, and the Thunderous Eye. Now, I looked at his team and I thought I don't I'm I was unsure what he might uh, lead with, but uh, I was uh, Leaning more towards the thunderous eye because it has prankster, so it's and perfect. It's a perfect lead for him uh, And looking at his team I I, I was thinking that uh, the Needle King was probably Scarfed and I got really annoyed by seeing the Suicune there because Crocoon is a pain in the ass I've uh, battled against the Crocoon before and it can really it, It's really annoying and I hate Suicune for that. And I see his Charizard X here which um, which doesn't really surprise me. It's a really powerful mon uh, as well with uh, the Weavile. Uh, he, I think he have brought the Weavile uh, uh, all three weeks so far. So uh, yeah, all, all two weeks previously and also this week so it didn't surprise me that much. Uh, and the Crobat uh, I was honestly a little bit surprised to see, but uh, then again, his, it's his best defogger, really. Uh, so, 
if there's that, uh, he probably did not want to get any sticky webs or stealth box that I might be able to set up uh, on him. But I was honestly surprised not uh, seeing a Lilligan on his team because uh, because of my pretty big grass weakness. I can just pull it up for you guys. I have like this chart of uh, all my weaknesses. I think it's this one. Yeah, this is this one. You can see here I have uh, there's in total three Pokemon who are weak to grass, uh, and there's even uh, there's even uh, uh, four Pokemon who are weak to ice. So a pretty pretty big uh, weakness there, but. Uh, seeing this, I was thinking I, I just want to set up my web, uh, so I led with uh, Calvantula, which you'll see in just a sec here. Okay, so now we're waiting for the opponent, and we can see here that he uh, leads uh, with uh, the Pursuer, actually, uh, the Crobat. And now I'm thinking here, uh, a flying type attack is neutral, uh, and uh, since this might be a defogger, so he might just go for defog, or else he might go for the U-turn. But uh, anyway, I think I'll just go for the sticky whip, which I also do. Speed a little bit more up, go for the sticky whip. But he actually taunts me, predicting that sticky whip, and and I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it. So uh, I think here I choose to. I think I choose to hard switch actually, uh, because I. Um, I was thinking that he would probably go into his Nido King uh, to take uh, a Volt Switch, so I choose to uh, hard switch into Electra if he does stay in, because uh, Flying Type is resisted uh, on Electra, so I chose to do go into her because she is also uh, she has good defenses as well. So as you can see here, in just a sec, he. We oh no we actually go into Gara okay I thought that we went into uh, a lecture but uh, anyway that's what I remember but I guess that, that was that was what I was thinking about because uh, Electra because oh yeah oh yeah because I thought that he also might uh, U-turn and then just go into the Neo King and since the uh, Electra is weak to ground we don't want to take any hits from Nido King since it's a ground type, you know? So that's why I can't win the Jagera because Yeah. Because it, it it was the mod that could take it the best because it is just so much. Oh my god, what was I doing there? Okay, so we can see here uh he U-turns, as you can see the opposing pursuer gives your turn. And then he actually does go into uh uh Alidia the Nino King here. And, uh, oops, sorry that you saw that. Uh, but here I just opened up a damage card, I'm pretty sure, because I wanted to see, uh, I can't remember what I wanted to see. Oh, I wanted to check if Nino King got any uh, grass or ice type moves, but then I remembered after looking <laughs> through his goddamn uh, moveset that he got ice beams, so I'm pretty sure that I just. I switch out. Yeah, switch into Electra, taking the Ice Beam, which is a neutral hit, uh, but it still does 47%, uh, and I get burned with the Flame Orb. And here, I just want to take this uh, Nino King out. So I'm pretty sure I just go for a facade or an Ice Fang. Uh, I think I went for the facade because I do not want to miss a Knife Fang, and also. I think it, they do like kind of the same uh, after Facade gets it. Well, <sighs> I can't remember. Is it uh, is it uh, times two or is it times 1.5 that uh, super effective hits does? But that doesn't really matter. We sack off, kind of sack off Electra here uh, to another Ice Beam because uh, he Ice Beams us down to around 10%. Uh, we facade him, which takes him out, but the burn finishes off. I would honestly say that I would probably, uh, at the moment, I was glad that I'd gotten one of his threats down, but uh, I would probably have rather had um, 
rather uh, had kept Electra uh, somehow, uh, either by going into I don't know maybe maybe Crush and then take him out, but Crush can't really take any special attacks, so yeah, some some. Someone had to go down there, but I, uh, I'm pretty annoyed that it was Electra. I uh, feel like uh, that I should maybe have gone into Caesar instead, taking a nuke, no, a resisted hit. That would probably have been better, but he has lower uh, defenses. But yeah, let's see what happens next. I'm pretty sure I go into Arachnophobia again because I want to set up the uh, Sticky Web still. But uh, I remembered that he would uh, he would just uh, see that and probably go into his goddamn uh, uh, go into his goddamn uh, what's it called uh, go into his goddamn crowbat right away when he saw that you know and then just taunt me in default or something like that. Uh, but, uh, but, 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 he does go into his German, German here, um, and I have vision, so, uh, I, I'm thinking here, okay, uh, we have this German here, and this German is very, very fast, so, I want to stop it from being so fast, so I, of course, choose to find a way, even though the, uh, goddamn, uh, the goddamn, uh, knockoff, uh, will bring me down. To one percent, but actually, it was forgetting that I had a focus slash here, and I find out that uh, I can actually outspeed this uh, German if it's adamant. Uh, so uh, I take the risk here because I, I had totally forgotten that uh, I had focus slash. So uh, for me, I was taking the risk that uh, uh, if it was timid, it would probably just go and take me out. But uh, as we see here in just a sec. Uh, if it's uh, adamant or not uh, but yeah we, I remember the, that it has Sasha and then I thunder wave it so that's a really good turn for me because uh, I outspeed it I know that I outspeed it now for certain and I know that it's adamant and not timid so here I uh, think what do I want do I want uh, to set up uh, do I want to sack vision of and then be able to set up stuff rocks and I thought no I do not want to do that because then he'll just probably kill my vision and then see uh, kill my vision and then go into Crobat and just defog because nothing uh, outspeeds Crobat uh, right now on field. Oh, nothing on my team can outspeed Crobat. It's just too, too, too goddamn fast, eh? <laughs> um, but so I choose to U-turn and uh, I, I think I go into. I can't remember what I go. I am pretty sure. I, yeah, I go into Gera because I wasn't thinking about uh, Gera having the ice type uh, uh, weakness, but I do choose to go into him because uh, he can take the knockoff, and uh, that really doesn't do anything to us uh, since we uh, uh, since we are so goddamn uh, bulky. But uh, I was totally forgetting that it had the ice type weaknesses. Weakness. Uh, so I think I just go for the knockoff here, uh, killing the German. But the German, of course, outspeeds us because it's so goddamn fast. I think it does. No, it doesn't. We. Uh, I can't remember how it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I actually found out on this battle that it's not. It doesn't uh, reduce your. Uh, your speed when you're paralyzed it doesn't reduce your speed by 50% it actually reduces your speed by 25% which is pretty uh, that, that's a lot you know uh, it can and, and it, it's it's really uh, detrimental but I'm quite sure how it goes yeah we outspeed it we knock it off but we do not kill it which is really annoying uh, so uh, pretty much Gera got uh, bodied here it, it didn't really do much this match other than take a couple of hits uh, and uh, do some damage on this German but it was not enough to take it out so it didn't it didn't really make um, it really it really didn't do much for this match but here I choose to go into vision because I know vision outspeeds and I can do a U-turn and I know that will kill it 
Uh, so I U-turn again here. I was thinking about setting up a stop block, but I still stopped. That uh, I still stopped. Uh, I still chose not to do that because uh, I uh, I did not uh, I, I I did not want Crobat just to come in and then just defog them away. So uh, we uh, have um, a choice here because we just uh, U-turned, uh, and I was thinking. Okay, we U-turned, uh, what can you go into? Let's just go into Galvantula, because Galvantula is pretty quick, and if he, if he goes into something that might scare us, we can just quickly Volt Switch out of there, because because we don't want to do, uh, you don't want to do anything, you know, uh, well, so like, just so we can Volt Switch out of there if it's necessary, you know. I don't know how why I can't speak right now, um, but yeah, uh, we see there's Charizard here. Now Charizard is a really, I feel like it's a big threat for us, so I want to Thunder Wave it because I'm thinking that he'll probably predict me to either Volt Switch or uh, or Hard Switch out. Uh, so I'm thinking that he'll probably go for the Dragon Dance here. So I'm gonna Thunder Wave it so that. He is, uh, he can get so that he, uh, his, uh, what I thought his speed was half, but it's actually, uh, quartered. Your speed gets quartered. Is that even something you can say? I don't know. It, it, it gets, uh, reduced, uh, to, uh, 25%, uh, of your max speed or your original speed. And here he goes for the dragon dance, but, like, as you can see, you, uh, I paralyze him, he gets fully paralyzed, which is unfortunate, but after this he goes for the Dragon Dance, and I just go for Bug Buzzes here, because, uh, well, actually, I go for Bug Buzzes, and then I, uh, I can see that he is setting up, so, uh, I want to go in while he's setting up, uh, with someone, uh, and then, and then try to do some damage with him, because, Arachnophobia right here isn't doing much, uh, and I was thinking, what can, what can really take this guy out? It's probably an earthquake or stone age uh, from either Caesar or Crush, uh, and since Crush uh, also needs to set up to actually do anything, uh, I, th oh no, actually I think we go into Crush and just stone age right away. Oh, I'm, I can't remember. I think I go into Crush. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, so we go into Crush here, and he is on uh, two times speed here. And I actually um, actually think here that he is gone. He is back to his normal speed, and that he'll probably take us out. But I, of course, forgot that, uh, or I, of course, didn't know that it's 25, which he also says. But it's pretty unfortunate because he gets fully paralyzed a couple of times, as you saw before. But. Uh, that's just how Showdown is. Uh, Showdown is really is unforgiving, but uh, paralysis is paralysis. And here I am. I get pretty confused uh, uh, of why uh, I outsped. But as he says down here in the comments or whatever you want to say, call it. Um, apparently, oh yeah, I also said up Steve Wave. Wow, that written really quick. I'm sorry guys, but I paralyze him, and then I set up sticky waves, and then I bug buzz, and then I volt switch into crush. That's how like the turns were, uh, while he was getting like fully paralyzed two times, I think. Uh, like first, when I paralyzed him, then when I set up stealth rocks, then he got his uh, drag dance up uh, when I bug buzzed, and then I volt switch and he drag danced again. And I thought he was at neutral speed here, but I found out he wasn't, and he goes into his goddamn Suicune here, the goddamn Crocoon. Hate it, hate it. Now here, I was thinking, I don't want to take any special attacks, so let's switch. Even though I should probably, uh, it would probably have been the better play to stay in and shell smash maybe once or twice, and then uh, gone for the Stone Age is probably the strongest move against it. Because I think uh, all these uh, st uh, Stone Age, Iron Head, and Earthquakes are all resisted, right? Or else then just neutral, but uh, I think Stone Age is the more powerful one. I should have I should have shell smashed uh, once, twice, 
then Stone Age did, and uh, that would uh, probably uh, probably have taken out the sweet, uh, the Crocoon here. But instead, I choose to check out some more uh, about sweet current. Oh yeah, I want to check if it has any grass type moves or fighting type moves. And it did get Rock Smash, and it did get Hidden Power fighting and grass, of course. And I could see him run that just because I have so many. Uh, grass type weaknesses, and I have a Mega Swampert. God damn it! <laughs> uh, but he actually chooses to s chooses to set up here, and here I choose the Thunder Wave, which is honestly not a good play. I should uh, probably uh, just have uh, th uh, Volt Switch in. Volt Switch because uh, uh, he this uh, Arachnophobia can do nothing to this uh, Suicune here because it's probably uh, specially defensive looking at uh, how much this next bug was does uh, but yeah it's pretty this 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 weekend is really annoying let me just say that but yeah I actually choose to volt switch here but uh, apparently uh, showdown doesn't register that or something but uh because apparently well as you can see I bug was here but he, he gets fully paralyzed so it doesn't really doesn't really matter that that happened, but it uh, it annoyed me a little bit when I was playing. But uh, as you can see here, I Volt Switch next turn, and then I go into uh, Azelf. Uh, I, I think it was a pretty bad play, me going to Azelf. I should really have just gone into someone who can take some, or who can do some damage to this uh, Suicune, which was my crush. And this is why I was uh, talking about earlier how I wanted uh, I should not have sacked off Electra at uh, the beginning there. I should have gone into something else who could take a hit and then take that uh, Nino King out. But that one, that was not the case. Um, so yeah, because sweet, uh, Electra would really have been uh, perfect uh, here because it was it was a physical electric type which could really do some goddamn damage to this goddamn Suicune Chris. Play, uh, got boosted, Wild Charge would probably have taken it out, like one shot it right away, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm, I honestly I have no idea to how to handle a goddamn Crocoon. It's really annoying. But here I just choose to taunt because I don't want to set up any more, which is another goddamn bad play of me, if you ask. Because if you ask me, because that just uh, forces him to begin attacking. And honestly, no, no one, literally no one, can take a scold from a plus 2.5 sweet coon right now. Uh, Vision obviously can because it's at one percent. Uh, Dominitan can't because it's uh, it's it is a big big weakness. And here I also go for the goddamn um, stealth rocks, and he gets paralyzed again. I think. But uh, he just gets more and more leftovers uh, recovery, which is really annoying. And here I choose to go into Galvantula again, another big misplay of me, seeing how little a goddamn Volt Switch did to it. So I'm, I'm really annoyed about that. Uh, that I, I really feel like this, uh, these uh, last couple of plays, I'm really, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm nearly trying to throw away the match for me. Uh, but yeah, I, I I go like I think I go into yeah I choose to go into Galvantula at last after doing a lot of research. Uh, I don't know why I was doing so much research. I honestly can't remember, and it it's weird that I can't remember because I had the match yesterday, but that was like yesterday at 10 p.m. Uh, pretty late for me. But I I was pretty nervous with this match honestly because uh, Kyle or Lugia X really has some powerful mons on this team who can really uh, go uh, and just wreck my team fully and especially this god time sweet coon now we're not facing Kyle uh, in the uh, in the anymore in this league uh, in any other future weeks and he's, as you can see here he just goes to the scald and of course arachnophobia can take one hit but only one hit so now I think I just go for the bug buzz, trying to do some damage because it's swarm boosted and all that stuff, but it's it only does minus 17. And he actually chooses to rest, which is really, really annoying because now he's fully 
uh, healed and he is no longer paralyzed so I can no longer uh, hope for a fully para paralysis and I cannot thunder wave him uh, also I also cannot thunder wave him and here he goes for the sleep talk and I honestly should have predicted this because uh, in his uh, previous uh, match and uh, week two match against Vito I'm pretty sure that was week two. Oh, let me I mean, was that week one? No, that was week one. Yeah, that was week one. Oh my god, I'm getting confused here. Week one, he bring, uh, he brought um, uh, rest, sleep talk. Uh, I think it was just ice beam and scold. Uh, uh, sweet coon. So I should honestly have predicted that. I should have predicted a crow coon. But yeah, uh, the I also team built like the day, like yesterday, uh, uh, in the morning. Uh, before I was battling him because uh, we were supposed to battle in the morning but I uh, slept over myself and it was like uh, 4 or 5 a.m. Uh, at his place when I finally woke up so he had gone to bed there uh, and so we uh, and so we actually slept pretty long he, f he first woke up uh, around uh, 1 p.m. Uh, his time and um, uh, which was around uh, uh, 10 uh, 10 p.m. for me so uh, so yeah as you can see here I just go for another bug buzz I'm pretty sure and he goes for a s uh, sleep uh, uh, sleep talk uh, and he gets the skull so of course it takes uh, me out and here I just go for the. Actually, I'm sure what I go for here. Um, I think I go for the U-turn going into Vision, just because uh, I know if he gets the Rift Talk Skull, uh, it's uh, Caesar is done. Pretty much all of my uh, Pokemon are done here. So, uh, as you probably can see uh, here, we are we are losing. We are losing this match but uh, there's still hope uh, for us because we go into crush here and maybe uh, he can he when he goes for the wrist talk again he maybe wakes up or he may be goddamn um, he m or he might uh, goddamn uh, just uh, uh, hit the calm mind or uh, goddamn rest again in the uh, sleep talk because like there's one out of three chance that he gets scold so I choose to shell smash here because I want to do the most damage I should probably have just gone for a stab stone here because that would have just uh, that would have secured some damage on him uh, compared to if I shell smash and he got the scold that would mean that crush did nothing and as you can see here he actually wakes up and he predicts him that he predicts that he wakes up I'm not sure if they actually had been uh, gone, uh, if five turn had been gone, but that was probably why he predicted it, or he just he just thought that it was it was about that time, you know. Uh, but he predicted that he woke up, so he just he just went for the skull right away, and uh, uh, here I just go into Caesar and I choose to Rock Slide because that's honestly my best bet because he has Suicune, Crobat, and Thunderous left, so. Uh, Rock Slide, I know it does not, because of the sheer force, there's no chance to flinch, but flinching him out could have also been an option uh, if the sheer force wasn't there, uh, because I'm Joe Span, so I can't really, uh, I can only choose one move. So I go for the Rock Slide, and uh, as you can see here, it does just about, it's a crit and does about 40%, and he goes for the Skull, taking me out. So, that was the battle. That was quite a long time. I think that was more than 20 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. If uh, if you're not watching anymore, then you're not hearing this. But if you are watching this, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I want to say thank you to Kyle, aka Lugia, the coach of the Dallas Stadios. GG, man. It was a really fun match. I, uh, I really struggled in this match. And I really think that I learned a lot. And now that we have Roserade... Uh, which uh, you know, you were the one that uh, suggested that I needed some uh, leader grass type and uh, Roserade it was 
but thank you for that, uh, for helping me uh, uh, in this uh, uh, league by uh, suggesting that because I can see now that I really do need a goddamn Roserade or a goddamn Crash type, and Roserade would have been perfect in this situation because it's so it's really special, def specially defensive, and it could it could it could have eaten those uh, skulls uh, for days. And since he had no ice beam, uh, we were pretty secure there. Uh, and we would have just Giga Drained or Leaf Stormed his ass. Uh, this goddamn sweet cone away. But uh, that was not how it ended. We are now the Copenhagen Camera. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Sorry for that. The Copenhagen Camera Rocks are now 2 and 1 plus 3 in differential in this league. But I do believe that we can still make it to the playoffs. I'm quite sure we're still uh, number one in our division. Uh, I gotta check that. We might be number two. But no matter what, I am sure we can make it to the playoffs. But with that being said, guys, uh, do be sure to use the hashtag Copenhagen Camera Ups to show your support. I should have said this when I started the video, but I'm just so unorganized and everything. Uh, but yeah guys, uh, also be sure to check out the video, uh, either, it's probably going up after this, maybe before, I don't know, uh, but I'll link it down below. Also go and check Kyle's channel out, it's awesome, yeah, and he's, uh, he also does like, uh, exclusive team builders to his ISA battles, so you should go and check him out. Uh, uh, and with that being said, do feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed. Dislike if you did not enjoy. Comment down below. What did you like? What you didn't you like? What did you not like? Uh, what do you think I should have did uh, done better? What uh, what plays uh, did I do? Uh, could have could I have done better? Are there any uh, sets that I should have run instead? Uh, but with all that being said, uh, I think did I say that I you should subscribe to my channel? Yeah. I, I'm not sure if I did that, so do feel free to subscribe to my channel. I make Pokemon content, if you didn't know. Uh, but with that being said, my name is Clax, and I'm signing out. Goodbye.